Colin Barnett has announced he's quitting politics after 27 years. It comes nine months after the Liberals' crushing election defeat. He admits he made mistakes as Premier, but wants to be remembered as a decisive leader who acted with integrity. I feel satisfied with what I've done. I hold my head high, but I'm ready to move on. After almost three decades in state politics, Colin Barnett has called it quits. Sometimes I am not a natural politician. You know, I don't go around uh, slapping people on the back, kissing babies. Um, you know, that's just not me, and I'm quite surprised myself that I survived 27 years. <laughs> First elected as an MP in 1990, Colin Barnett spent eight and a half years as Premier. His Liberal government was thrown out of office in March. The member for Cottesloe remained on the backbench, but says he now feels like the elephant in the room. There's two types of politicians. There's ones who make decisions and get on with it, and there's another group that plays safe, and no one ever knows who they are. And I've never been that. Colin Barnett's name is on a number of big ticket infrastructure projects, including Elizabeth Quay, the Perth Stadium, and the trouble plagued new children's hospital. But his government is also responsible for WA's record $32 billion debt. And I accept the blame if there's some, but no one could deal with that situation. You know, there's a lot of investment during boom years, uh, lots of infrastructure, a number of major projects that were advanced. This um, expansion of, of government spending eventually caught up with the government. He's highlighted the failed shark cull policy as a mistake and admitted local government reforms could have gone better. And until today, the former Premier's colleagues didn't hide the fact they wanted the 67-year-old gone. It's not a sense of relief. Uh, it's, a, it's a sense that a mate, a leader, is moving on uh, and uh, it's his choosing and he's done it his way. Cullen always does things his way. He loved the big infrastructure projects like Forest Hill Airport Link and the Fiona Stanley Hospital, the Perth Children's Hospital, but he also loved uh, ensuring that there was a good social safety net for Western Australians. Colin Barnett will step down as Cottesloe MP after Australia Day, meaning a by-election is likely in late February. It's understood BHP mining executive Emma Roberts is the front-runner to replace him, but prominent lawyer and former mayor John Hammond is also tipped to contest the seat possibly as an independent. Cottesloe is not only one of the safest seats for the Liberal Party, but it's also a seat that doesn't swing much. I hope I am remembered as a, uh, not only a long-serving Premier, but one who certainly gave it his best shot. And I hope I am remembered as someone who behaved with honesty and integrity. I'll see you down the beach. Yeah. OK. Enjoy. Nathan Brooks, Nine News.